everybody this is three three readings and this reading is going to be for virgo virgo sun moon rising what am i saying virgo sun moon rising and venus signs <laughs> this is going to be a reading for you if any part resonates you can check out the extended i'm going to link it down below it includes the outcome of the situation your person's feelings in depth um the advice for you what do they want from you why do they want it from you i don't know so a more in-depth situation and also the advice for you the energies for the rest of the month and all of that so if you're interested you can check it out in the description box otherwise you can watch this video and be sure to subscribe and like and thank you so much for supporting my channel if you do like my content be sure to give this video a like anyway. So what are the messages for Virgo? Sun, moon, rising and Venus. What are the messages? Let me come a little bit forward so you can see the cards because people have a problem when the cards are not right there up in your face. Trust me, I don't have time to trick people, okay? I don't have time for those games, okay? eight of cups in the reverse so virgo what's happening here what's happening why is that eight of cups in the reverse i think you're going through something some sort of an emotion okay some energy where leaving is an option but how to leave is not you know is not on your mind like how to leave Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Ooh, two reversals. I think that you might be coming out of conflict. So the time that you're coming from seems to be a little bit hard for you. So you might be going through difficulties in life. Um, things have been going up and down in your life. Um, you know, so it things. I feel like things forced you to take a break maybe or to just like sit down and make a decision about something now i do see you making a decision about something however i also think that in the past there was confusion regarding that decision but now things seem to be more clear in your vision i feel like there is a certain connection that's really on your mind or something that you're not able to let go of all right queen of wands determined and determined and determined i feel like you are very determined to do something virgo okay there's a certain situation that you're determined to um make it happen for yourself or i feel like there's a passion of yours that you are following with a lot of determination i like it what is it about tell me more about virgo ace of swords oh my god that's amazing so <clears throat> this isn't the time to walk away from the passion rather it's a time to walk into it so i feel like your vision is becoming very clear like i am telling you the time that you're coming from has been tough for you you had to walk away from things you have to you had to distance yourself from things but now things are becoming more clearer for you things are making sense you know what i mean and you seem to be more determined to make things happen for yourself, like your peace, your uh, serenity and your, you know, growth is more important. Something new that you might be starting. But I just see you looking at things with a very clear perspective with like um, page of pentacles fell out. I feel like this could be something new that you're doing in your life, um, an idea to do something new, to start a business maybe but a step towards your own stability the sun happiness i love this reading so let me say the, the signs that are here as of now we have aries sagittarius leo uh, we have libra gemini aquarius we have earth Taurus, virgo capricorn and leo is evidently here so whatever it is that you're doing or you want to do i feel like your main focus is your happiness feeling centered feeling balanced feeling happy feeling motivated okay to make something happen for yourself right 
that's interesting let's see what else do we have for you the lovers in the reverse there's a certain individual that you're closing off to i, I don't know to me, this looks like Virgo is all focused on themselves, their happiness, their goals, their life, their peace of mind, rather than indulging in a situation where you've been hurt or so. Yeah, the lovers in the reverse, Virgo. Mm -mm -mm. Oopsie. Nine of cups in the reverse. So, and the six of wands in the reverse fell on the floor oh i'm sorry it's the chariot not the six of wands like everything in this deck looks sim similar <laughs> i'm sorry um oops oh god so the chariot in the reverse lovers in the reverse chariot in the reverse nine of cups in the reverse you are coming out of a love situation where things were unclear for you somebody was not making you happy a very unhappy situation that you're coming out of virgo lack of direction mm -mm -mm, you name it that relationship had it okay tell me how does the person virgo is dealing with you towards them <clears throat> how does the person virgo is dealing with you towards them let's see two of wands why why does this person feel the two of wands Somebody really made you unhappy. Five of Wands in the reverse. Oh my God, Virgo, your person wants to come out of conflict. So I feel like in the past, they were making you really unhappy. There have, uh, you know, there, this relationship had arguments, disagreements, fights due to a third party or whatever the reason might be. I see your person wondering about you. Okay, oopsie. Your person's won wondering about you. Where have you been? What are you doing? What are you up to? Five of Wands in the reverse. They want to come out of conflict with you. That's interesting. Oh, the Five of Swords. They do look back. Five and Five. Hmm, things have been changing here. I feel like this relationship with this person has made you strong in a sense that you learned a lot from it, okay? But now your focus seems to be somewhere else could be a new person or i don't know something new you're doing with your life this to me looks like more so to do with your own life like your finances your career your job anything like that okay just your own happiness feeling good within your person's kind of sensing okay the reason why you walked away was right something was making you unhappy the situation with this person maybe this person was, was very egoistic but you gave up right you gave up on this and they are looking back and looking at you like Virgo has left the chat. What actions this person is going to be taking towards Virgo? Let's see. What actions? Eight of swords in the reverse. I just see your person coming out of conflict with you. Um, okay. Somebody's going to open up. This energy of opening up. If I can just shuffle ones please thank you very much there we go tell me more about the actions of the person virgo is dealing with what actions they're going to be taking towards virgo knight of swords you <laughs> virgo what have you done to them libra gemini aquarius energy uh aries leo sag energy pisces cancer scorpio is here too but i see gemini is here too by the way leo is here too just saying. Um, Virgo, this person's unable to walk away from you. I do see them opening up to you. So you, you can expect somebody to open up to you and they're rushing in towards you. Somebody is rushing in towards you to come out of conflict, to resolve the issue, to win you over. Interesting. Tell me more about Virgo. How you see yourself right now is the justice. Libra energy, feeling good. I feel like you really, really are all about balance in life at the minute because like I said, the time that you're coming from has really tested you, uh, has given you hot times, hardships, and now you feel like it's time for you to buckle up, make your decisions and be happy again because you don't deserve to be in a place where you felt unhappy and like things were falling apart for so long, right? You're, you 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 don't even mind cutting people off if they're going to be uh, messing up with your head, with your peace. Let's see what's... 
in your environment or the person coming towards you is the eight of wands so this is like communication like people always say communication communication why is there communication because you don't you see that there's a person wanting to open up of course i'm gonna call a spade a spade i'm not gonna be like you know i don't know like i don't understand people okay but one thing i'm gonna say is that uh people who have um a thing to do with their life don't really sit there and criticize other people for no reason okay constructive criticism is something else and just picking faults for no reason is something else i have seen a lot of things on youtube that i don't agree with but i don't really sit there and comment because you know why you know why i don't have time and b i never did like my entire life i never sat there and left a comment just to let somebody know like hello so this reading does clearly say that somebody wants to open up to you so that's how i'm gonna say it. you like it or you don't want to open you don't want them to open up to you, that's your own call this reading isn't for you okay like i'm done with it i'm not even gonna address that anymore i don't have time for that eight of wands and the knight of swords um virgo the pace at which you're moving forward in your life mm, interesting and your person is like i need to do something because virgo is distancing themselves from me and i have to make a decision if i don't they fear losing you actually so there is this fear of loss here right now let's see so this is a hundred percent sure that somebody wants to open up to you because you are completely cutting them out reason being is you you're focused some on something else okay the moon so virgo uh, pisces cancer scorpio energy i feel like you see this person as somebody who hides things from you who doesn't make you feel good so yes there were like this relationship didn't make you feel the happiest and you still think that dealing with this person like takes you in a place where you don't want to be anymore okay unless they want to make you really really happy you're all about it if not mm -mm -mm. no what is the outcome of the situation for virgo please let's see what is the outcome for virgo oopsie the empress wow growth expansion forward movement feeling yourself feeling confident feeling good in your par interesting interesting energy so yeah you're you're very much in your par you're attracting abundance you're attracting good things in your life and you're believing in yourself okay you might have felt low for the longest time but not anymore you're going to come out of this energy better than ever in terms of love and this person who was making you unhappy, I don't really see you initiating contact with them. Now, let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles have to say for Virgo and their person. Where are the messages? Calling in your soulmate. Now, Virgo, you might have felt very, very connected to this person. okay what well, fell on the floor let me see express your love calling in your soulmate so yes this is a connection that's very deeply rooted very very strong however you are not focused on it but the person you're dealing with wants to really express their love because they think that you're the one for them tell me more about virgo and their person please tell me more about virgo and their person I am going to look at that soulmate and, and express your love card in your extended. We're going to clarify that. We're also going to clarify why you feel sad and gloomy about the past, like what happened and your future and all that. So we will see. 
making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You are making the effort towards something and the person you're dealing with is making an effort towards you. So there is somebody who's going to be making an effort to actually express their love. They could actually propose you. They could actually say sorry because look at these cards. Making the effort, expressing the love, right? Somebody's going to be making the effort to say something, to make things right with you, Virgo. Reason? Because they feel very, very connected to you. Even when they were sitting there thinking about you, they felt like this urge to come forward and talk. Like I was saying, getting unstuck, you know, coming out of conflict with you. They look back and feel like you're gone and now they want to rush in and communicate with you. Okay. So, yeah. That's about it for Virgo as of now. Now we're going to move ahead and do your extended. So if you're interested, you can purchase that. I'm going to be linking it down below. I'm also going to be taking out love messages towards the end of that. So yeah, anyway, that's about it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. This is 3-3 Readings. Take very, very good care of yourself and bye-bye.